Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings. My name's Michael Jex. I'm an author. Those are not my books. They're all for research purposes. Still, it's nice to have a bunch of books in front of or behind a face, isn't it? It's like a Zoom meeting. Today, I have a fun little video all about another pen. Thank you very much, Conway Stewart, for letting me use a Duro. What's a Duro? Come and have a look. That's over here. So we have a new pen. However, before I talk about this new pen, I just wanted to mention this fellow, Henry Simpole. For those of you who have looked at the Marilyn Monroe, you'll have uh, hopefully really enjoyed the sight of the superb craftsmanship of Henry Simpole who did all the silver work. And very sadly, I heard this morning that he's died. It's a great shame because he's taking with him a huge amount of knowledge of pens and how to make overlays of silver. A very sad thing to hear. Hey ho! But what we've got today is something which I have to say is just magnificently colour coordinated with my William Hanna A6. And it's this. The Duro. Now I can't tell just how well the camera is picking this up. But let me just say that this acrylic is just mind-bogglingly beautiful. As you can see, there's brown swirls, but this sort of... I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a whole load of tiny flakes of mica crushed really fine and then mixed in with the acrylic. And as you look at it, it all moves around. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So here we have one Duro. As I say, perfect match for the William Hanna. It's also really good, I believe, with Diamine's Emerald in it, which is a glorious colour, quite a dark version, but really, really good. And it shows up well whether it's on William Hanna paper or Tomo River, which I have here, as I can demonstrate. So this is the green, this is my Visconti, this is the green again. So let's just have a look at the pen in a bit more detail. The Duro is quite an old Conway Stewart design, I believe. It's, it's light. It's not a heavyweight by any stretch of the imagination. Looking at it from the outside, it has an old-fashioned Conway Stewart clip that fits to the cap. Reasonably strong, not as strong as some, but it's certainly weighty enough, springy enough to hold it to your shirt pocket has a flat black cap, no engraving. It has a slightly curved convex uh, cap on the end, gold fillers and another gold band here which has all the hallmarks to prove it is real gold. But apart from that, no writing on it that I can see it's just a plain but very attractive little pen. In the hand, it's a perfectly good size. Nothing wrong with that. If you like posting your pens, it will post very happily because the cap is very light as well. I'll put the weight and everything in the bottom. So that feels really good. It has a black section at the front so it matches front and back. And this one has come with a broad, really rather luscious 
flag nib. How does it write? Well, beautifully. I keep leaving this alone for a couple of days at a time and then coming back to it. I have been using this really quite extensively. And the reason why is because it just keeps writing so well. I've got it filled currently with Ackermann's Israel Zeblau. And I use Israel Zeblau because I love it. Very nice dark teal colour. More on the blue side than the green, but a, a gorgeous colour to write with. This pen is light. It's not heavy at all. But what I really like is that nib. As usual, being a flag nib, you can get a good amount of variation. And it does say, I'm just checking, but it does say it's broad. To my mind, it's a, a bit of a fat medium rather than one of the enormous broads that you can sometimes get. But, but the nib is so smooth, it's absolutely lovely to, to write with. Being light, it'll fit in a shirt pocket without any trouble whatsoever. Having that clip, it will be safe. But what I think is just incredible is as you're writing, you can see there, you get this shimmer as you're writing. I was sitting in my sitting room making some notes the other day and my light was over to the left and as I was writing, the shimmering was just spectacular. It really was. Finally, having just done a quick measurement, if capped, it's 13.7 centimetres. Uncapped, 13.2. So that's quite interesting. There's only a half a centimetre gap in the top for the nib to fit in. Hey-ho! And then if you have it posted, 17 and a half centimetres. So significantly larger. There's one other thing I would like to say. And that is... There are various things get sent to me. And some of them are useful, some are less so. This, I think, is really useful which is a little brass cap that you can put onto your ink cartridge when you decide to change ink colour or you decide that you've got to use an absolutely full ink cartridge or cartridge converter because you're going into a meeting or something where you're going to be needing to write a lot. These little caps just fit onto the top of the ink cartridge fit absolutely superbly, no leakage. I've had this one since I sent back the Marilyn Monroe pen and as you can see no leakage, no ink coming out, nothing at all. Really useful little idea. Not the sort of thing you necessarily need to use every day but just really convenient. Now I've got four of these things and I'm going to sort out a competition soon. I'll probably announce it next week whereby you can contact me and you may win one or two of these car these little cartridge toppers. So there you go. What a fun thing that will be. There you go. One little duro with some fabulous, fabulous acrylic. And it's staying in my pocket for now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to support the channel, feel free to go to the bottom where there's a link through to my Patreon site. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments box. I'll normally get back to you within a day or two. 
And apart from that, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button because then you're told when things are coming out. Hit the like button and the share button and all the other stuff. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching and speak to you soon. Take care.